Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a big old box of shoes to show you. So basically, I've got this massive box and I ordered, I think around five, five or six pairs of shoes from Everything Five Pounds, which is technically 570 in Euro. Basically, I'm gonna be opening them and trying them on for you guys so you guys can kind of see the quality and stuff because if the quality is good for the amount that I pay for these shoes, then that's gonna be fantastic. I highly recommend it then. If the shoes are good, it's an absolute steal. This box has been sitting in my room all day and I want to finally open it, so I'm gonna finally open it, so. Okay, I think I might need to put this on the ground and then I'll take them out and show you because it's very big. First thing I notice is that every single box is different, which I think it might be a little bit like TK Maxx in that way where it's like every single pair of shoes is like from a different brand. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. I don't know. But I'm just gonna grab the first pair that I see. So this is from, I can't pronounce the main thing. Is that even? I don't know. But it's this Sergio Todsi on the front. This is what it looks like. And I don't know what shoes these will be. Oh my God, a nice little cute card in here. Thank you for choosing Sergio Todsi. See. This seems like it's gonna be good quality. I'm excited. Okay, which shoes are these? I never order shoes. Like I, I have loads of shoes, but they're from like pennies and H&M and stuff. Like they're not like I pretty much wear like, the same shoes all the time. So this is gonna be kind of fun that I'll have some other shoes to wear. I'm, you guys can look at them first. I can't remember what I ordered properly. Ah. Okay. Okay. So these are those pairs of shoes that like look like socks. These feel really good quality. Now, I'm not great with these heels, so... Oh my god, these are so nice! The quality feels great! I was afraid, like, I don't know. With the shoes like this, it's always a way of making them feel real cheap, but these actually feel great. Let's take the other one out. Oh, I'm excited! I'm excited! These are great! I will say, though, looking at the back here, there's a little bit of a fray thing going on, but it looks like it's just the paint not paint, but like a little bit of plastic. Like, that's not really big. It's not really that big of an issue. It's nothing to do with the actual, like how the shoe sees. It's just like on the under part. So I don't think it's really a massive issue, but they still look great. And we shall go try them on. So far, they're super uncomfortable. They might be the pinch too small. There's issues trying to get the shoes on. So if you're looking to get these and you're a size seven, I definitely size up. These are the trickiest shoes. How, how do they look? <laughs> Oh my god. Do they look nice? They're a lot easier to walk in than I expected. They're, they're quite uncomfortable, although the, the left one's kind of kind of easing into it. The left one's quite comfortable. The right one is just a bit tight all here. It's just a bit squished. I feel if like if I got a slightly a size slightly bit bigger, I'd like them a lot more. It's just because of how sore this is on my toe. I just can't imagine me ever wearing them. The left one feels fine. I don't know why the right one is having so many issues because they're actually quite easy to walk in. I usually can't walk in these kinds of heels. Also, they're very pointy. I'm not a big fan of pointy shoes. I'll try the next pair. This brand is called Mulan, Mulanka. Mulanka? Mulanka? I think. And let's open them up. I have no idea what these are. Oh, these are sandals! Woo! Okay! Okay! They look pretty good! Okay! They smell funny. They smell kind of like plastic, spray paint, and like rubber. Which I mean, I guess, it's a shoe, I guess. These feel nice. They don't feel like they're gonna be uncomfortable at all. Because I had a pair of shoes like these before, and they were super uncomfortable. They did not fit properly. The only thing that I can see that's wrong with them is just a slight bit of a, oh, like a bit of a fall over here with the spray, that's the spray paint that I'm smelling. That's Spray paint. And so I'm a mom maker, I can smell spray paint a mile away. <laughs> but they do look pretty decent. Like, I wear them all in size seven. I'm a size seven, but I can differ between a seven and an eight. So let's hope to sweet Jesus that these all fit me, okay? Sometimes I have to order a size uh, up in shoes because they just, sometimes the shoes just don't fit properly. But these are all in a size seven, so best of luck. But these look great. Let's get the other one out. The smell is strong when you take them out of the little package the first time. But like, look at those. They look pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with those. And let's go try them on. These I feel like are gonna be a winner. These already fit great. All right, okay. Now I'm a big socks and sandals fan, just so you know. These are great. They are so comfortable. 
comfortable. And they look pretty cool. I imagine if I didn't have socks on, it'd look a lot nicer. I just put socks on as well because I feel like you guys don't want to see my feet. I'm curious to try these on without socks now just to see how comfortable they are rubbing against my skin. So I might do that real quick as well, but so far, I 100% wear those out. They're great. They fit great. Let's try them on without any socks. So I'm not gonna stay on this view for long because I, like, I know nobody likes feet, but these are great. Super, super comfy. The only thing I can say is I wish they were a tiniest bit tighter here, but other than that, like because there's two straps, they actually sit on your feet really nicely. So when you walk, there's no, there's no uncomfortable, there's no pressing against anything. So these are solid. 100% get these, these are great. Righty yo. Oh, there's so many of my shoes in there. Oh, this is so exciting. So these are CHC shoes. CHC shoes. I thought I said chic, it does not. It's a small little box, and what's, oh. Oh, hello. Hello, white sneakers. Hello, these look nice. Oh, I'm very happy with these. Get all the crap out of them. Again, they all smell like a little bit like, well, not all, this pair and the last pair smell a little bit like spray paint. And I don't know why, but these look great. They look really airy as well. What's that? There's like something hard in the sole part. So there was something kind of hard towards this area. So I could, and you can kind of lift up the inside sole. Yeah, now it's fine. I lifted it up to try and find what was in there. And this was in there. What is this? It's squishy, what is that? What is that? I mean, the shoes still look great though. Still 100% gonna wear these. Get the other one out and see if it has the same weird block thing under the toes. Maybe that's supposed to be there? No, because it's not in this pair. The tiniest bit worrying, but you know, whatever. They still look great and I'm excited to try them on. They're really white, which is which I appreciate. Sometimes when you order white shoes and you get them and they're kind of like off-white. Let's try these on. I'm excited for these. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, big fan. Again, they're like the tiniest bit small, but they still fit. And they're actually like really comfy. Like my toe is is right there, but I feel like that's not a massive issue. I feel like that, I feel like that might just stretch into it. I wouldn't want to get a bigger size because of how snug this is. But I think like the, the toe will slightly stretch the more I wear them because they're super comfortable. They're just nice, like easy little slip on shoes. Like they're grand. They're five euro. They're totally grand. I think I need to wear these out. I'm a little bit concerned about the size, but I feel like because the top is just material that if I were to let go out, that these would work, to be honest. But on to the next pair. Next, we have Kayla shoes. So Kayla shoes. Let's see. It's kind of every single one of them is a surprise to me because I don't know which is going to be which. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. I'm just I'm just like checking it out like really close up to make sure there's, a, if there's any like issues. The only issue I can see is that there's like a tiniest little bit of black overlapping all the little silver parts there, but like that's very hard to notice. These smell like leather. I would have preferred leather. I'm like conscious now every single shoe is gonna have a weird thing on the inside. These feel real comfy on the inside and they look real nice. They're real cute, okay. Okay, let's get the other one out. You wanna play me like that? Let's look at see if the other one's good. Again, it has the same little issue here on the inside, but like that's not a massive deal. Like no one's gonna see the inside of your foot. Little things on it are issues. Like I can feel there's a little bit of loose uh, glue in this one. Yeah, so there's like a little bit of loose glue on the insides of them. On the inside, yeah, on this one as well. So it's clearly when they were just gluing the last little bit down, that it just, I don't really see that as big of a deal. Like, cause look how nice they are. They are so nice. Oh, I'm excited to try those. We'll try these now. Okay, so these are a little uncomfortable on my heel. They fit my foot pretty perfectly though. Like there's space up the front. So these fit better. They just, I feel like I'd have to wear these in for them to fit more comfortably because it's just getting me a little bit right there. I like these. I mean, I'm always afraid of these shoes making my feet look way too long because I'm, I mean, I'm tall, but I got little legs. <laughs> but yeah, they're just a little bit uncomfortable at the start. Like they need to be kind of, as you can see, like they need to be worn in a little bit. I mean, they look quite long when I look down at them, but they probably look a lot nicer than I think. Yeah, they're, they're decently comfortable. Five euro, you can't go wrong, man. Like that's pretty all right. They're cool. Okay, so these are from Moo. Moo? 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 Moo. These ones were a bit of a risk, I will say, because these ones are more like, well, I suppose getting white shoes is a bit of a risk. 
I guess, but so here are these. Fully inspect them before making any judgments. I mean, like, there's a few little issues, like, there's a little bit of a darkness, kind of a bit of a dirt there. A little bit of, like, glue kind of things. Like, I mean, guys, these are, like, little minuscule little details if you're, like, looking at the shoe, like, really close up. But realistically, when you're wearing the shoe, it's not gonna matter. Because you're wearing the shoe, the shoe's always gonna get dirty when you wear it. Looks pretty okay. They feel like good quality. Yeah, there's a nice squish here. Oh yeah, there's a nice pad for the old ball of your foot. I will say there is this like weird like join. Is it like this weird join area right here? I feel like that might get the tiniest bit uncomfortable, but I'm not sure. I shall have to determine once I try them on. Also, the heel isn't very big, which I also appreciate because these are more like, more like summer shoes. We'll try them on now. Okay, so. So these, as you can see, are the tiniest bit tricky. They were a little hard to get on. Now that they are on, they're actually very comfortable from what I can feel. They're very comfortable. Are they nice? Do they look nice? Do they look nice? There's a few areas on them that like are spiking into me though. But once I touch them, they go away. I don't know. Yeah, so that's these ones. Now I will say they just fit. I might have gone for an eight in these. Well, actually, I don't know because now that they're on, on, they fit pretty perfectly. But when I was putting them on, there was issues. <laughs> I'm trying to get like this part because it's like satin. They're all right. They're nice. They're nice and flat feeling. So these are like a nice little cute summer shoe. Like I'd, yeah, I'd 100% wear these. These are cute. Okay, so this is the second last pair. So this is WS shoes. These are another white pair. No surprise there. Okay. It's always like slightly risky. Every time I open it, I'm like, oh. All right, okay. I can see some issues immediately. This side looks like, it looks pretty decent. There's a few nicks and scratches on the buckles. And I can see here, it, there's like a bit of black there. Like, what is that? It looks like it can be clean. Like that is such a minor thing. Like that's not something that I would be too fussed about considering they were five pounds or five euro, 70 cent. Like everything else, everything else looks pretty all right. Like it's just that. Hang on, let's look at the other one. Does this one have that issue? No, this one's nicer. Yeah, like the little the little things, like those tiny little, little, little bit of scratches on the buckles, but like that's fine because like that happens when you wear shoes. That's just a normal thing. But they feel like decent, like comfortable. Um, the inside looks the tiniest bit dirty, I will say. The inside looks a little bit dirty, but otherwise it looks fine. It just looks like the shoes were just made either like a little bit too fast or the materials, I don't know. This one kind of more smells like this bottom part than it does like the leather part but if if you're wearing them on your feet no one's gonna notice these tiny little issues like it's, it's just small little issues so we shall try these ones on now I have just noticed while trying them on that they have like this part this is what the back of it looks like so this is the front and this is the back that's just one thing I just noticed so I think I like these ones the least or maybe it's the green ones, but these are definitely in that selection, yeah. Like these, they're just shaped so weirdly. The buckles and everything like that are just so cheap. Like these are the only pair that really feel like they're really cheap. And then like this dirt and everything that I didn't even clean off. It just, I don't know. These ones I would not go for. They feel super weird. They're not comfortable. They're not pretty. I'm not a fan of those. No, wouldn't would not recommend. Also, they're super uncomfortable to wear without socks. Like these shoes, I imagine you would, wouldn't, wouldn't wear them with socks, but they're super uncomfortable. My foot is not comfortable in here without a sock on. So yeah, uh-uh to these. The final box. I also just now realized that I ordered seven pairs of shoes. Okay, so this is from Erin Paris. So I'll show you the box, Erin Paris. So I think these are the boots. So I ordered boots and these are the big box. So please let these ones be nice. I love these if they're nice. So what's that? Okay. Let's hope for the best. All right, all right, okay. Hello, tiniest bit bendy that way. All right, okay. It's got like this cool little like insert thing. Hang on, let me get all this crap out of it. She's deep. Like, uh, let's zip her back up. These feel great. These feel like pretty decent. They have a bit of a bend in them that way, which I I'm, I don't hate. These look nice. I like the zip at the front. Let's look at the other one. These look decent. The zips are, aren't iffy. The zips aren't weird or awkward or like they don't get stuck, which I appreciate because oftentimes with cheap shoes, you can have that issue where the zip just won't go up, but like this, Zips up a dream. There's no issues there at all. Look at these. Uh, nope. <laughs> Wrong. Look at these. These are great. They look super nice. I'm excited about those. 
Okay, we'll try these on now. As I said earlier on in the video, I have a very high instep. Oh, so these are super tight. Like, so much tighter than you could imagine boots to be. Which is a pity because they're super nice. It's just, I feel like they're taped on. It's like, I feel like they're like painted on. Like they are so tight. And there was issues trying to get the zip up here because my instep is so high. I mean, like one could say that they fit perfectly and then one could say that they don't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. I love to like wear them and stretch them a little bit because they're really pretty. I really like them. Um, they're just way too tight. But I feel like, ooh, this, ooh, ow. This motion just you see in this this is this is like what it's doing to my skin like it is just crunching it like I oh yeah I have to wear them around for a while to wear them in but I feel like out of all the shoes these are the most worth it I think because they're the nicest and they're shoes that I would genuinely wear on like a night out or something yeah I'm gonna keep these bad boys on I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch these out I'm gonna stretch them out oh oh pain <laughs> I want these to work. Please work. I want you to work. That was a lot of shoes. I still have the black pair on. I like the black pair quite a lot. Favorites are the black ones. The black ones with the zip. They're probably my second favorite, I will say, because um, these are probably my first favorite. I've tried to look for a sandal like this before and they didn't fit me at all, whereas these fit perfectly and they were a fiber, which is grand. The last two. Even though these were so tight on my toes and my and my ankle I will still say these are better than these these are off and I'm not even like well, I don't even really see the point of refunding them because they were a fiber so I might just give them um, I might just donate them because they're gonna fit somebody and somebody might like them but I just my foot shape just does not work in there 60 to 70 percent of them being like pretty good all in all I think it's a pretty decent haul to be honest like I would recommend getting some shoes from here because you never know like I will say though because they're only a fiver I think you're better off like getting your size <clears throat> and then either if you kind of sway between two sizes I definitely recommend getting maybe like the size that the size that you wear and maybe a size above or if you're kind of between like say if you're a size seven but you kind of swing between six and seven get a six and get a seven because one of them is gonna fit properly whereas I just got a seven in all of them and some of them are a little bit too tight like I wish I'd have it I had an eight in these so thank you guys so so much for watching and please let me know down in the comments below which which pair of shoes was your favorite and if you've tried anything from everything five pounds before whether it be shoes I think they do clothes and stuff as well so definitely let, let me know down below if you guys have ever tried any and then which pair was your favorite also hit the like button guys to let me know that you did enjoy the video and hit the subscribe button as well so you can see new videos that I'll be bringing out so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video hopefully bye guys